good morning guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> it has been a long long time it's been almost a year about seven months so if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Corey and this is probably gonna be a week in the life because I just have a lot going on this week if you're not new here hi welcome welcome back I've missed you guys I appreciate everybody reaching out to me and stuff like that I did also deactivate my main Instagram so yeah, I've been like very MIA. I do have like a little private, like little bookstagram, but that's just like a play account. Anyway, guys, so life update. I am in my fall semester of school, and this is actually my final semester of undergrad. Thank God. So I just have a lot going on this week because I have a exam this week I have a lot of studying homework so you guys are actually going to see some of my school life but you will also see some of my fall break life because I will also be on fall break in half of this vlog and I know I'm going to a wedding this weekend so I just have a lot going on and since I finally had time to just sit down and film and edit I was like you know what I need to do a vlog obviously like makeup tutorials are coming makeup hauls are coming but I wanted to do a vlog first so yeah so you guys will follow me along I'm actually on my way to go get my breakfast smoothie from this place I've been really loving in Indianapolis it's called Greenleaf Greenleaf smoothies and there's like several different locations but I've actually been going to Greenleaf since maybe like last October um, I kind of just really really went on this intense fitness journey and so when you are just consistent and like your like working out and stuff like that it almost makes you crave like healthier foods if that makes sense so we're just on that so for breakfast I try to do like a huge not a huge but like it's a, a regular smoothie but it's about like three or four servings of fruits and vegetables so you guys will see me do that and then yeah so let's go You guys, I did not realize it was only 42 degrees, so I think it's cold weather. I'm not in a coat, I'm freezing cold. Another elevator, it takes me forever, you guys, so much walking. So this is my classroom to my first class of the day, which is called Voting Elections and Public Opinion. I am a poli-sci minor, so this is actually a course requirement for my minor. Um, I've actually finished all of my degree requirements for my major besides like my final gen ed, which is finite mathematics. And then I've also finished all my requirements for my second minor, which is communications. So I am literally just finishing up my poli sci minor and math. I'm out of breath. As you guys saw, I just did so much walking. <sighs> Parking at IU is just not very considerate. So yeah, and I also have asthma and I am also walking on a sprained ankle, which I sprained last year on my birthday. So it never fully healed. So I'm just catching my breath. Um, by the way, guys, oh, the lighting is so good in here. My outfit is from Amazon. I did get this outfit back in 2022 off of Amazon, just a workout set. Um, so I don't know if they still have it, but that's where I got it from. And then my shoes are Hoka or Hoka. I don't know how do you pronounce these. I think it's Hoka. Just the white ones. They need to be washed. And I'm not very good with like white clothing, but these shoes, I literally only throw them in the washer and they're good as new every time I do it. Well, I have you guys. What do you guys think of my school bag? So this is Base by Shea Mitchell. And since I have you, I guess I'll just do a review of it. So tell you guys like the pros and cons and everything. So I did make a list. I do have like a pros and cons list. I'm just gonna do like a little mini review of it. Nothing too crazy, but. So one of the cons I don't like about this bag is that the zipper 
does not cover all the way on either side. Now, I don't mind it not covering on one side because I know that there are water bottle holders here. And so I feel like maybe she did that so you could reach for your water bottle. But on the other side, I actually use it as an umbrella holder. That way I'm never without an umbrella. I feel like this could be covered. You know, like one side at least should be covered. The second con I have is the transfer. Now this might just be the color that I purchased, um, the beige color, but I have sprayed so much Scotch Guard on this and it has still transferred. So I don't like that. This is the inside of the bag, so nobody's really seeing it, but still it does kind of bother me. And then also the structure. If you see how this bag is not very structured at all like it's somewhat structured but I feel like it could be a little bit more structured um, I do like the nylon material but it could be a little more structured especially considering I use it as like a school bag you know I just felt like the work tote that they have which actually I will do a review on that I did buy that in two colors and two sizes but the work tote is a little too formal, I feel like, for a school setting, especially undergrad, so that's why I use the east to west tote. But um, I think the east to west tote is still a very good school bag if you are not looking to use a backpack. Um, the backpack I had just did not fit enough. It did not have enough space, so I'm using the east to west tote, and I've had it for since the spring so I've had it over six months and now something that I do find to be a pro and a con is the size of the bag I do like the size because like I said it fits everything that I need but it does you know because of the size it's I'm only five feet tall it does look big on me but I need the stuff so whatever now another thing I love you guys the compartments so as someone who actually has OCD this First of all, this pocket, there's a pocket here. I usually keep my wallet in there, as you can see. And then there's a pocket back here, which this is actually a trolley pass-through. So this unzips at the bottom on the back side. And then uh -oh, there's more pockets. So this is my lunch for the day, some sushi, but... This is my laptop and iPad sleeve, so I do keep my iPad, my laptop, and my folder in here. This is a 13-inch um, MacBook Air, and then this one is a, I don't know what size this is, but this is a 10th gen iPad. And then I have my glasses right there, the Constitution right here. Trust me, when you are a law, pre-law major, or poli-sci, you're going to want the Constitution on you at all times. <laughs> um... These, this is my calculator for finite, hand lotion and hand sanitizer I keep always within reach, my little breast cancer pin. Now I do everything on the computer on an iPad, so I'm not someone who carries textbooks and I feel like I should also mention that because I don't carry physical textbooks, I feel like that's how I ease down the shoulder pain because I don't know if I would recommend a shoulder bag to someone who carries a lot of textbooks. Um, all of my books are e-text, so I read them off my iPad or on my laptop, so just be mindful of that. Um, aside from this compartment and these pockets right here, we have two water bottle holders. I keep an umbrella in one, and I keep a water bottle in the other. And then there's plenty of space in here. So this is my pencil holder. These are my headphones. This is my daily planner, and then this is my essentials case from base. This is actually from base as well, and this is double-sided, and I love that. And then there's another big pocket, so I keep a poncho in here. There's my camera and a second battery and a little snack in there for me and some napkins. And another little snack is in here. Another thing that I find is a pro is that there are three ways to carry this bag, so this is in the way. There are these straps so you can carry them like by hand or like this. But then these are the straps that I mainly use. And I do love the material of the strap and I love how thick that the straps are. I do notice a lot of complaints on the base work tote because the straps are so thin. Um, these are actually pretty comfortable. And then there's one big strap. 
so and it comes with like a little shoulder pad so you can wear this bag like crossbody and then another thing you guys there is nothing more frustrating than looking for those car keys so this actually has a key leash as i'm sure all of the base bags do have a key leash um you know out of celebrity brands i feel like shay mitchell just really her brand was just so well thought out and it was so different usually we see like fragrance and makeup and just stuff like that even like hair care and skincare have kind of been oversaturated but luggage and like every stuff for like the everyday working girl like nobody thought about anything like that and i love base so i actually have three other bags i need to review because i did purchase the work tote the large one in black croc and i purchased the regular work tote in cognac croc and then i did purchase the wicked tote in black i wanted the green but it just wasn't realistic for me to purchase a green tote although the green was beautiful but so i should have a review coming for that soon here soon and then i did want to say regarding the east to west tote there's other colors available um i do like the material like i said it's very it's a very good bag for an undergraduate student especially one who doesn't carry like i said physical textbooks so i take all of my notes i don't carry binders either i take all of my notes on good notes on my iPad. I do all my reading on my iPad or on my laptop. So right now I am getting ready to study. I always review material in the morning time. So I'm actually here at like 8 a.m. My class doesn't actually start till 1030. So I spend this time just reviewing um, whatever we're going to discuss in each class that day because I feel like it just helps my brain retain the information better. Like if I already go into class knowing what's going to be discussed, like it kind of makes me more engaged. So if you ever struggle with retaining information, I would recommend you look at your course syllabus and go over the material before you go to the class. It's just something that's worked for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am absolutely beat. I am stuck in the parking garage now. Um, so in my campus, they only let you pull in forward. They don't let you back in, which kind of sucks because when the line is this long in the parking garage, let me show you. People will tr literally try not to let you out. So I literally have to be so aggressive and I will just keep backing up like and force people to stop because they will literally like leave you there for 30 minutes. Yeah, not happening, especially because I get out of class like during like rush hour. So I'm exhausted, you guys. I do not love my schedule this semester. And the thing about my schedule is like you don't get to pick your schedule the higher up in undergrad you go so like once you're hitting those 400 level courses some of them most of them are only offered one time um only there's only one time available and some of my classes are actually only offered in the fall semester so i didn't get to pick it i have four classes in one day they're all back to back they're only 15 minutes apart and they're all in different buildings it is not an ideal schedule at all because by my last class, I am honestly just worn out and exhausted, which is how I feel now. And I still have to go home and do some studying because my classes are just very intense, which is really odd considering it's my final semester. But yeah, I'm just so tired. And funny story, guys. I am actually, let me melt. So you guys, I am actually having issues on campus with a classmate of mine. So I was just saying, I actually have five classes total this semester, but four um, are in one day, two days a week. Um, I'm having issues with a particular classmate, and he's in three of my classes, um, with following me and just being like not respecting boundaries and stuff like that. And it's gotten to the point where like classmates have literally pulled me aside and have been like, you know, you should probably report that because that's kind of disturbing. So I've been trying to be like more short. So I feel like I'm the type of person, like if I see someone doesn't have a lot of friends or something like that, like I'm very friendly with those people. Um, just, you know, like, so people know, like there's always room at my table. Like I don't want anyone to feel alone or like left out. Um, that's just not like, I don't, 
I don't do that. I don't, I don't like that and I don't like anyone who participates in that. So, you know, I'm always very polite, but not polite to the point where it sends the wrong message. Um, but this guy has been like, literally like chasing me after class. Like I understand that we attend three classes together, but you and I are not friends. I've never indicated like that we are friends. And I've certainly never indicated anything more. I've literally only said like, hello. And he will like literally chase me to my next class or like follow me if I sit down somewhere. Like he will literally move his seat. It's gotten to the point where like I'll make sure he, well I've tried to make sure he sat down first. So that way I didn't feel like he was following me. And then he will literally like even if I'm across the room move his seat like directly near mine or behind me or something. And I don't like it but it's even gotten to the point where... If I am talking to a classmate, he will literally bombard our conversation, like disrupt our conversation. He will like bombard our conversation. Hold on, let me get out of here. I gotta make sure those things go up because one of those actually hit my car before that's another story but basically like I was saying he'll bombard our conversation like fit like I've been I've talked to somebody in class before and he will like roll his chair literally physically in between the two of us while we're speaking you know I was talking to a girl this morning and he was literally interrupting everything she said because she is not really aware of like what's been going on but it's just very frustrating because it's just like boundaries like boundaries <laughs> on top of that like I'm not I'm not even trying to be harsh but like we're not friends like you know what I mean like other than like a simple hello and stuff like that so it is very frustrating because I do feel annoyed like feeling like I have to keep moving my seat in class like it's just frustrating I have to like I feel like I have to run from classes just to like be by myself and stuff like that and honestly you guys I have four classes in one day I don't want to be bothered like I'm just on a mission to just make it through the day. I'm not really interested in like anything extra on campus, but you know. Hoorah, but I'm exhausted from today. I am actually getting ready to go into my skincare routine and then read my book. Typically I do do some studying after school, but I'm very tired and I, I've already like looked at upcoming assignments. My workload is pretty light since tomorrow is my last day before fall break for me because I don't have like Friday or Saturday classes or anything. And did you know some people go to school on Sunday? That's crazy. But I'm about to sit down and read and snack on this popcorn and yeah. Um, yes, and before you guys, Yes, that, that is a light. So it actually has three settings. Look. Yeah, so that's the lightest one. I mean, the lowest one, the middle one, and then that's the lightest. So yeah, that is a light. And I love it like in the morning time when I'm not ready to completely turn the lights on or like when I'm reading in bed and stuff. So yeah, it's great. Okay, but now I will officially see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, I lied. I'm almost done showing you guys stuff. I bought these shoes to go with this dress. I told you guys I'm going to a wedding this weekend. At least I think I told you guys that. If I didn't, I'm going to a wedding this weekend. But I got a gold pair of shoes because I feel like this will go so well with the dress. I had another dress already purchased. So I had purchased this dress from Fashion Nova, which beautiful, right? I was going to wear this to the wedding. Well, everything came perfectly in my order except for this. I was sent something else that was really trashy looking. It was a 3XL, which also ticked me off because I'm like, first of all, if everything I ordered is a large or a medium, why do, is there an item that's a 3XL? Like what is going on and I asked them they asked me like how I wanted to be reimbursed Fashion Nova had asked me like how I wanted to be reimbursed and I remember the options were like you can get a full refund or you can get a store credit and I'm like why can't I just have the item I paid for like I want that dress because I want to wear it to a wedding thank god I ordered like multiple things because the wedding is actually in a couple of days. So I was planning on wearing that, but I decided I'm going to wear something else. It's really cute. I did also get it from Fashion Nova, but I felt like with the color of the new dress, 
it will just go really well with gold like pieces. I just feel like the dress is a little short but like at this point I don't really have any other options for like that's appropriate for a wedding because I have within the last year I've actually lost a significant amount of weight so a lot of things do not look right on me anymore. They are kind of baggy so I'm in the process of kind of like rebuilding my wardrobe. I'm not sure if I'm going to rebuild it all the way because my weight does tend to fluctuate sometimes up, sometimes it's down, but it's significantly down from where it was last October. I started my fitness journey actually exactly a year ago today, October 16th, 2023. I was working out six days a week until my body like was overexerted and then I started doing like three to four days a week. So I'm still in the process of doing that. I do very, very intense workouts. I've been eating a lot better and honestly, I've, you know, cut some people off and cut ties with some people and I feel like that like lack of stress now, like I'm not worried about anybody. I feel like losing that lack of stress actually is what helped to keep my weight off. Like I feel lighter and like fresher. Like <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but like I just feel like I don't have like a care in the world. Like some people are just so draining that losing them is just like, like having them around does more harm than good. So now that I'm not like putting in effort with any like certain people, like I just, I feel great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good morning, you guys. So today is Thursday. Today I do have one class it is called gender in law and yeah so we're not like today's supposed to be a light day because it's our final day before fall break I know we have like a research librarian coming to talk to us about like research for one this class is actually very beginner friendly for me it's really funny because a lot of people in my class like have never done like a case brief or anything which I've been doing my whole college career because of my major but it's just almost like a review course for me it's like I can't even explain it but I do like the professor a lot she's really sweet and then also as far as like research librarian and stuff like that I actually worked for a library not as a librarian I was actually an assistant librarian so I'm very familiar with like how to research stuff and like proper sources and stuff like that so we're just doing that and then after that class I'm gonna give myself about 30 minutes to probably go grab something to eat from the campus center and then I do have a finite exam I did not do that well on my first five. well for me for math I did okay for me because I'm not a math whiz you guys I am a reader I am a book girl but I have an exam today and it's my second exam so I'm hoping I will do better on this exam. I'm actually feeling a little bit more confident on this material, but I do find finite to be a lot easier than algebra, which is weird because finite is supposed to be a harder level. So I don't know, like I'm just understanding like the formulas and like why the answer is what it is. I'm understanding it more clearly in finite. So today is my final day before fall break. So when I leave that exam room today, I am officially on fall break. Although I still have plenty of reading and plenty of homework I need to do over break because I do like to be ahead of the game. So yeah, so you guys will just, I guess, see me when I get to school. I'm at school now and I am here waiting. I always, 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 whenever I have classes, I always come to campus early. I do some reviews. So I'm not actually reviewing for this class because I've already done what I'm supposed to do for today. I am going over my math quiz because I do have an exam after this class. So I just like to like review my notes and stuff like that. Not something that comes easy to me. So just repetition, you know, so I'm doing that now. Um, also, you guys, you stand at the front of the class. It's because there's no plugs. Typically, I do try to sit at the front of the classroom always. However, sorry guys, my devices are always about to die. So there's only one class that I sit in this semester, which is my first class. And that is the only class for whatever reason that the plugs are near the front of the classroom. So now instead of sitting in the front like I normally do, I sit by plugs because I don't want to be disruptive. So that's the only reason if you see me in like the back of the classroom while I'm sitting there. But in this classroom, there are literally no plugs in here except behind the teacher's desk. And she does usually let me come up there and charge my stuff if I need to. Because even when I like charge my stuff overnight, when I'm in here in the morning reviewing, my battery just goes down, down, down. So if you guys have Apple products, never let them die out. Because over the summer, since I wasn't in school, 
This color is so pretty. But over the summer, since I wasn't in school, I was like, whatever about both my laptop and my iPad because I wasn't YouTubing or anything. I let them die out and I really feel like it deteriorated the battery life. So don't do that. Yeah, what do you guys think of my makeup today? I literally am only wearing concealer and blush and like brows. So like I only have makeup on right here. But like up here and like down here, I don't have on any makeup. But I feel very like fresh. So Oh, also guys, let me give you a little fit check. So it's just like a two-piece set. And it's super cute. My east to west tote. Perfect school bag. I still need to review the work totes and stuff, which I plan on doing very soon. Yeah, so I don't really have a lot like planned for today. So today will probably be a pretty short one. Also, you guys, I this vlog will probably be long because I've already edited for like yesterday. And yesterday's vlog, I did not think would be that long, but it was about 20 minutes. So this vlog will probably be, it'll probably be about, about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour. Let me know if you guys like short vlogs, long vlogs. So I guess I will see you guys when I leave this class. Oh, and if you're wondering about this gloss, this is the Fenty Gloss in Ruby Milk. It came in one of those holiday sets. I'm just so mad I've been letting this color just like sit and not using it because it's gorgeous. And it's like a natural, like your lips but better. I'm in the science building. I have to take my exam in here. Exams are not during class time. I have to schedule them separately. Study. I took my finite exam, which I did pretty decent on. And then I met up with one of my friends from school and we kind of just chit chatted about some things like going on and just how the semester is going. She's a triple major. I'm a single major, double minor, and I have a certificate. So we both have like a lot going on. And I think just honestly, I just think we have a really bad case of senioritis. I think that all of the seniors I talk to Specifically, the ones that are supposed to graduate this semester are just over it. Ooh. Somebody is not happy. I am officially on fall break. Woohoo. I am actually, my husband said that we're probably going to pick up dinner tonight and tomorrow. I'm really like okay with cooking. I'm just really tired. I think he wants me to rest though. He knows I'm tired. He's so sweet. Like he's very considerate and like very mindful of like me being a student and stuff. I definitely love that for me. Oh, I'm not supposed to get on the highway. Okay, child. Go ahead. I am going home right now. We are going to go pick up our children together. So my husband is actually, he's a teacher. His school is actually on fall break at the moment. So he's off this week. And then I'm officially on fall break now, but whenever we're together at home, like we always drop off the kids when we can or pick them up together. No phones during pickup and stuff like that, like just so we can like focus on them. But I'm on my way to go meet him so we can go pick up the kids and then probably pick up dinner. Lately, you guys, to, like right now it's 3.10 p.m. For some reason, I've been needing coffee after like noon which is weird i used to never drink coffee after 12 p.m in the afternoon but lately i've been like needing it to not feel groggy and i'm still able to go to sleep which is crazy to me so i don't think like i've tried to be without coffee but i don't think like not drinking coffee i don't think that works for me i think that i just naturally need coffee like i don't need all the cream and sugar in it but i definitely need some source of coffee because i feel like it's keeping my energy levels down but I'm also just exhausted like I've done so much reading the past couple of months I've done so much work I've really been busy like community service and all that so I just been on the grind you know but I like I said today is gonna be a super short day tomorrow I'm probably gonna go like work out I don't know if I want to go to Planet Fitness or if I want to go to Pilates I'm not sure it just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for I am about to take a nap but I just wanted to show y'all before my nap I came home and my husband bought me some just because roses so just thought I would share that with you also I don't know if anyone does this but I always want like movie theater popcorn like even without going to the movies and he brought me a bucket so I'm about to enjoy my nap Bye guys. It's workout time, guys. Stay <laughs> 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 
after it's done, I need to go home and shower. You guys, Fresh Times ha has these like freshly pressed juices, lamb chops, crab legs, and I'm about to go grab some asparagus. So basically, we went to go pick up my husband's car. I'm not sure if I, someone is calling me. Hello? Hi, Can I ask who's calling? My name is Lydia Shaw. We spoke uh, last week at the uh, fair in Indianapolis. Oh. Uh-huh, at the uh, graduate fair? Yes, correct. Oh, yeah. I'm good. How are you? I remember. I'm well. So last week, just eating you the team. Okay, yeah, no problem. Well, you do your um, research and review. How All right. Thank you so much. So fun fact guys, I actually have another law school that is not in Indiana trying to get me to apply. And I just, I want to like explore every option, you know, but I just don't feel like it's realistic for me to go to law school anywhere other than in the city of Indianapolis. Just on the honest truth. I just picked up my husband's car. I'm headed home. We actually were just at fresh time earlier. We got some groceries, not like en enough for like the week or anything, but I, we bought crab legs, we bought lamb chops and asparagus. And then I was gonna do like a loaded baked potato probably for dinner or something. If I don't end up feeling like cooking, then what I'll probably do, what I'll probably do is end up just probably going to like Jimmy John's or something for dinner somewhere clean or get like a poke is it called poke or pokey bowl i'm not sure but i may do that um from po pokey bros or whatever yeah so today will probably also be a pretty light day as far as like filming oh also if you guys are wondering my hair i had to wash it after i worked out today because it was just smelling kind of like work post workout type of smell if you get where I'm going with that plus we have a wedding to go to tomorrow so I want to make sure like I'm completely fresh I feel so well rested I got in such a good workout I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster and then I didn't have a lot of time to stay at the gym today because usually I'm at the gym for two or three hours but I did do some arms and I did some core workouts but um, when I get home what I'll probably do is some homework and some reading just like I said to be ahead of the game by the time I come back from fall break but I'm so thankful that I don't have to go to campus Monday I don't have class Tuesday anyway but whoo it's just I feel like it's gonna be like a really fun fall break I'm already like Friday the Sun is out I'm having such a good day today honestly like I just feel I feel great today I'm waiting for my hair to dry my hair always takes forever to dry but I am on my way to get dinner so <laughs> I don't know if I feel like cooking or not, but just in case, I'm just gonna pick something up. I am really wanting a poke bowl, but I don't, my oldest, I don't know if he'll like a poke bowl, and this will be the second, like, I would get him sushi from a restaurant like that, obviously, but this would be the second time he would have sushi this week, so I don't know if he wants sushi. So I'm thinking I may just go to Jimmy John's, I'm not sure, but my husband wants Panda Express, so I am going to grab him some Panda first. And then I'm still kind of making a decision because I can't text my son because in Indiana, the law is the kids are not allowed to have cell phones on their person, like on themselves. If you guys don't know what that means, their phones have to be like put away in their backpacks and stuff, which kind of defeats the purpose of a cell phone. Like, yes, we don't want them distracted at school, of course, but like, you know, in the event of an emergency, because unfortunately, like that is something that's, that's real now, you know? Okay, this just took me to CVS. I don't see a Panda Express anywhere over here. I'm, I'm in Glendale. If anybody knows what that is, there is a Jimmy John's over here, but I'm just not sure if I want Jimmy John's. I feel like that was Panda Express and it's closed down now, so give me a second. You know what, guys? I'm already at Jimmy John's, even though I'm at the wrong location for panda express i'm right by a jimmy john so it probably would just make more sense for me to grab jimmy john's instead of a poke bowl because i would literally be going out of the way welcome to panda express what can i get started for you may i please have a bigger plate with all um orange chicken and then uh the chow yeah the chow mein hey you want me to put all the meat on the same plate or you want the third one separate um all the meat on the same plate is fine Hey, so chow mein, triple orange chicken, anything else for you? Can I have a small order of crab ragoons, please? Okay, order ragoon, anything else? No, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. 
I am getting ready to kind of plan what I need to do during break. This is my notes. These are my notes from Finite. If anyone is good at Finite, you have any tips or tricks, I am willing to learn anything. Just to better like memorize the information because um, I still feel like I rely on my notes to get my work done and I want to be able to do it to where I'm not needing to rely on my notes as much. I'm not saying like never rely on my notes, but I would like to do finite quick enough to where I don't feel like I have to go back to my notes and do that. Today is October 18th, so let me go to the 18th. By the way, this is a um, Erin Condren planner. I found this at Target, which I didn't even know Target sold this brand. Um, there was only one left, so I'm not sure if it was like a fluke thing, but this planner alone because I've had issues with these little spiral rings and other planners with the pages not being like kept because the spirals will kind of break apart these go all the way through so these spirals will not make the papers come loose so that alone made me purchase this planner it was around like 30 or 40 bucks but I like it this is an academic planner so this is actually geared for students in the front of the planner you know you put your name in your school like over here you can put like your school schedule for the semester it starts at the month july so we're all the way in october which this year is like flying by for the beginning of the month you can like set your monthly goals i'm not sure if you guys can see that you can list any events you have coming up and then you can take notes and then over here projects and exams i typically just write my projects and exam and and exams on the like big calendar like this and then I write it again on that specific day so it also like I said has specific days so like this today is the 18th so what I will do I'm gonna just feel even though Friday is almost over because whatever I don't do Friday goes to Saturday whatever I don't do Saturday goes to Sunday and so forth I always do my work in the order of like which class comes first so I have voting elections and public opinions, and then I have finite, and then I have power, sex, and money, which is a very, <sighs> you know, I don't like that class as much as I thought I would. The conversations are just like, it's, it's a tough class to listen to the conversations because a lot of the times we are talking about like religion and stuff like that. And I do feel like people are very aggressive towards a religion that is not their own which is just not my style, so I try to keep my head down and stay quiet. Like, I have my own opinions, but even when you have your own opinions, I do feel like there is a way to address those opinions respectfully. Like, there are other religions that, you know, I may ne not necessarily, like, align with, but, like, there is a way to kind of communicate that, in my opinion. Anyway, that's another topic. So I have power, sex, and money, and then I have analyzing politics, which I'm not loving that class either. Because the material is very mathy, but the professor is so sweet. And she is a good professor. I think it's just the material. And then I have gender and the law. So in voting election and public opinions, I already know there's a bunch of reading. I love that professor as well. He's probably my favorite professor this semester. And I also really like his class on top of that. But he just seems like such a well-rounded, like nice guy. We're going to be reading chapter one through four. The, I like to scroll through and see how long these cases are that I do have to read. And they're usually always pretty long, at least 20 pages. So I just have a lot of, like I said, I always tend to have a lot of reading to do. But the thing is, is when I don't physically, like I said, have to sit through class, I feel like I can get so much more done. Honestly, I will probably be able to knock this out and it won't be as stressful for me because, like I said, I have those two days to myself. Um, and then I know in one of my classes when we get back from fall break we will be zooming so I won't even see him for a whole nother week. So that's great. So I'm probably gonna start in, I'm probably gonna start with voting elections and public opinion. I'm going to I got Jimmy John's so I'm probably gonna eat my Jimmy John start reading chapters one through four and then watch a one hour podcast. It's a lot of work. These classes are very intense. I know some people like to do like the online calendar. I prefer like a written planner. That's just my style but you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. I also need, again, to charge my iPad. Also, while well, I have y'all, I had gotten from Macy's these gold shoes, which I'm going to wear to the wedding. I should know the haul the other day because I did not know what I wanted to wear to the wedding. And actually, what I decided, what I actually chose to wear didn't even come. Um, They sent me something. They actually, this. They sent me this, which I was really, uh-oh, really upset by. 
like this two-piece set first of all I mean it's cute if you are into this sort of thing but this is also a 3XL and my thing was like you didn't peep that all the other stuff was a smaller size like you didn't think that was odd um but yeah so they sent me that instead they basically said because I paid for expedited shipping or quicker shipping or whatever they weren't able to send me the item so they just basically gave me a refund which honestly I would have rather had had the dress but it is what it is I've already made the decision I'm actually going to wear this pink dress which you know I feel like the other dress was a little bit classier but I'm gonna wear this it's, this is a little bit shorter than what I you know would want to wear but because the wedding won't be held at a church because if this was held at a church I'd be I'm not gonna lie I'd probably be on fire with Fashion Nova because that dress I showed you guys in that screenshot was classier more church appropriate but this one will actually just be at a wedding venue the the ceremony and the reception so I guess it's fine but you know I just don't want any up and down stairs so these were the bags I was I was talking about from base so I got this one this is the work tote the regular size work tote um in cognac croc and you can definitely tell if you go onto tiktok or even youtube and look at older reviews like reviews from last year you can definitely tell she kind of took the criticism and changed the material because a lot of people were saying like the bag felt plasticky and it was not as sturdy. This one is very sturdy, just as sturdy as the mock croc black one. You can also tell in this video like this bag is not shiny at all. Whereas the older videos, the bag is very shiny. This material is just as tough, like I said, as the black one. But I will do a review on this bag. The black one. So I also have the black one and then this one is the large size. And another thing I did notice with these two bags is that basically these two bags, the sizing looks smaller for both of them. In my opinion, and it could just be like my eyesight because I'm not there in person, I'm watching these reviews through a video. But to me, the large and the regular size both look smaller than the older videos that I've seen. So I'm not sure if she made these bags smaller but I thought this was going to look like a suitcase on me. This is actually just, it's a big bag because I'm only five feet tall, but it's not nearly as big as it seemed like it would have been. So I think that they changed the size into, I could be wrong about that, but this material for sure is good material. So, but I'll do a separate review on these items when I get the chance. Um, like I said, this is for like upon graduation when I start like applying to paralegal positions and stuff like that. So I probably won't be touching these anytime soon because like I said, this is a little bit too sophisticated for undergrad. That's why I wear the East to West tote. I am about to, I'm letting my hair like finish air drying. I'm probably going to go through it with a blow dryer tonight before I go to bed. I also need to eat dinner and do my reading. So that's probably it for tonight. I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow will be probably a busy morning because the wedding, we have to be there by 4 o'clock. But we also have to like drop our kids off and stuff like that. So it'll probably be a busy morning. So y'all probably won't see us till the afternoon. But you will see us. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Y'all, I am trying to make a decision on if I want to carry this Gucci Marymount bag or this clear thing. I honestly... I'm going to be honest, I do want to carry this, but it's very hard to open, like it gets stuck. <sighs> I don't know. Hi guys, so I am ready, wedding ready to go and see our friends get married today. We are actually here dropping our kids off with my father-in-law and his fiance. They're going to go hang out with them for tonight and we are running behind, but we are almost there. Do you guys like my dress? I need to figure out how to get the top to stay and stop falling down because I don't want my chest out. Ready for this wedding? Congratulations, brother. Enjoy it. You think I look cute? You look beautiful. Thanks, babe. Gorgeous. Thank you. I didn't even comb my curls out. I just wish I want this dress to stay up. But the bow is really pretty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
I guess I'll just leave it to you. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I'm sorry. So this is my dress. But this, I don't like this. It keeps falling down. I don't feel like it's too much boobage, but since we're at the reception now and not the wedding, I'm not as insecure about it. It's okay to be a little sexy. So yeah. <laughs> like I like my skin to look a little like wet but in hot yoga or hot Pilates like putting on a bunch of lotion or oils before class is just not the move trust me I'm telling you from experience I don't know if anyone has ever tried like hot yoga or hot Pilates or something it was something I was consistently doing between like 2022 and 2023 honestly up until I got back in school that's when like I stopped being consistent with it because I just my schedule was not the same It's just like really hot. It's basically Pilates, but it's Pilates like without the machine So you're not on the reformers. It's just like well at least in my gym the gym I go to you don't use like the reformer machines I've actually never used the reformer machines for Pilates, but I wanted to I have another friend from school who does the reformer machines And she's been trying to get me to go with her. I just like our schedules just really don't align But yeah, so I'm going to hot yoga my friend that's coming with me me. I'm not sure if she's done hot yoga before I don't know if she knows like how intense it's going to be so I'm actually on my way to Target first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purchase some propel packets and some liquid IV packets just to be on the safe side because I don't know if she's done this before and it's intense if you're not used to it you have to be like super hydrated and drinking a lot of water and that's the one thing I do love about exercise which I'm pretty sure I said earlier in this video like when you exercise it almost forces your body to be more disciplined with like the amount of water intake that you take per day and like the way you're eating because you're gonna start craving healthier foods out you're gonna start to notice like you're not craving junk as much that is one thing I do love about exercise but I love hot yoga I love hot Pilates they both make me feel so good I feel like they both improve my mood so much like just little things that would normally irritate me when I'm consistently doing like yoga and stuff like that it's just like namaste almost or not like namaste what's the other one Akuna Matata that one no worries I typically prefer today we're doing hot yoga because I did let my friend choose if she wanted to do Pilates or yoga she wanted yoga I kind of want a Pilates so like truth is I actually prefer Pilates over yoga when it comes to like my body I feel like when I was consistently just doing yoga it was making my shoulders very bulky and very big and that's not the look that I want for myself like whatever floats your boat but that's just not something that I like to look like if you get where I'm going with that um, I prefer how my body looks consistently doing Pilates like I don't mind sprinkling yoga in there every now and again you know but I don't want to consistently do yoga because I just don't like how I look but you know yoga every now and again is still like I said it improves my mood and everything so I'm always down to go plus she's a guest so we're gonna do what she wants to do today so I'm on my way to Target I gotta go pick up this stuff and I really because you guys know how it is in Target where you say you're going for one thing and then like you don't actually go in for that one particular thing you come out with so much more luckily I don't even have time for that because it's 11 3 and my class starts at noon so I need to hurry up 
I'm not that far. I don't live far from the studio and I don't live far from Target either, but you just never know. It's Sunday. People like the grocery stores are always busy on Sunday. I guess I will probably see you guys when I get to Target. Oh, I forgot my wallet, so hopefully they take a couple of wallets. We're gonna go with the sugar free. So I just left Target and I have these sugar free liquid IVs. It comes with 10 in a pack. It was like $17, I think. Maybe a little bit over $17. These are a little bit more expensive than the regular liquid IVs. I think they're more expensive because they are sugar free, so less like artificial sweetener. I guess that's what Google says. I don't like high sugar. I don't like high amounts of sugar in my food. I'm really trying to be mindful of that. So I have not eaten, so I know by the time I leave yoga, I'm going to be starving. Understandably so, because I will not, I haven't eaten for one, so I'm already hungry, but also to, I'll have done physical activity in a hot room so it's like double impact if you guys recognize this area in the background that is because this is the glendale area where i got my jimmy johns from the other day same exact area i love this line, area turn right onto north keystone avenue siri really i love the glendale area though because there's so much to do over here like we've got target there's a movie theater there's a sephora now which is where i typically go um I don't know if I should be telling people where I go, but when I need like to, well, I don't restock my makeup kit a lot, but when I need to restock, like when things have reached their expiration date, that's actually where I go. Speaking of makeup, I have a client this weekend, a relative, but my relatives do pay. I don't make them pay. I literally don't make them pay. Like I literally do their makeup for free, but nobody lets me do their makeup for free. Oh, and speaking of makeup, it's so funny because yesterday I had that clear like acrylic purse, which I ended up carrying to the wedding. Um, in the inside, I obviously have my business cards. I'm not joking. Anytime I go somewhere and my makeup is done, there is always at least one woman who comes up to me and goes, do you do makeup like professionally? And then we get to talking like about my history at Sephora and stuff like that. And then of course they ask for a business card. So yeah, just like self-marketing, I guess you could say that. So I am headed to my gym. And once I get there, I'm gonna probably drink a little bit more of this and then um, put that liquid IV in there. These are king crab legs. I have to say that. Hey guys. How are you guys? Are you guys enjoying this vlog? I hope so. Because this is taking me a lot of work. You know, it's been a minute since I filmed an edit. I have been sitting, since this is like a week vlog, a week in the life, I have sat down every day and done some editing and it's just like a lot of work, which is why it's been really hard for me to kind of commit to it during the school year. But you know, nothing too crazy. I just got my hair done. So my hairstylist, she actually specializes in hair loss. I found her just because if you guys get your hair done, you guys know like the deposit Debbies, the girls who cancel at the last minute. I just, I don't have time for the unprofessionalism, like that type of stuff, it just grinds my gears. I found an old school hairstylist. Well, she's really young, but she's like, has a very like old school mindset. She specializes in hair growth and hair loss, and she's just very gentle with my hair. She does a really good job and keeps my hair fresh, especially because I work out a lot. So my hair is constantly like, kind of gross because I sweat all the time I wash it all the time and stuff like that but she does an excellent job I'm liking my hair I got my long hair back because I just took out my short hair last night and I want my short hair so I have a job that I'll be starting after I graduate in January and I want my short hair when I start the job just because shorter hair in my opinion just looks like cleaner and more crisp I don't want this hair but since that hair I had just taken out I wouldn't have because I took it out last night it wouldn't have been dry by the time I needed it done so I just put this hair back in I had this hair earlier this year back in January it was fine I just don't love like I'm not into the 30 inch bust down anymore I've outgrown it so if you get where I'm going with that like the long nails those super long lashes the super long hair like it's just not my style but I mean I can deal with this for now plus 
if it's in the way i'll just put it up and today is going to be a super light day i will probably see you guys to well not probably i will see you guys tomorrow for brunch me and my girls are going to rh indianapolis and it's like a beautiful beautiful restaurant the food is okay it's not the best but i feel like it, we people go for like the experience more than the food so yeah we'll see y'all there and that'll probably be the end of the vlog and then i'll have another vlog and it won't it won't be a full week the next vlog well, i'm sorry y'all like i cannot commit to like a full week in the life maybe every now and again but this was tough good morning you guys so it is brunch time i am going to brunch at this restaurant and like I don't know if it's like architecture or something. I have no idea, but it's called RH Indianapolis. I've actually been here one time before with my cousin and one of my really, really close friends. And you know, the food was like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like the best food in the world, but it was okay. But you know, a lot of people come here for like the vibes and the aesthetic. It's super cute, super like aesthetic and all that. Um, so I'm just kind of here waiting on my friend. Plus I wanted to vlog a little bit before I sat down and you know, wrap up this vlog because this will be the final day of this vlog i love the little pink tint in this gloss keep it like thick if anybody's wondering i have the nyx lip liner and cold brew on my lips and then i have this gloss is discontinued this is by bare minerals this is their old like tantalized gloss very discontinued you know something it's so funny because i actually have three of these left i bought a whole bunch at once and i'm so glad i did because i had no idea they were going to discontinue such a beautiful shade i wish they would bring this back and then this is a classic by buxom this is white russian sparkle and this is the full-on plumping lip polish because I know they have like a pump plumping lip cream, which is different. This is the polish. So yeah, because when I put on like lip combos and I don't like say what they are, y'all get kind of aggressive in the comment section, you know? So I made sure to, to let y'all know what it is. So yeah, guys, so this is actually my final day of fall break. Tomorrow is my first day back at school. I am pretty much ahead of the game. When I get home tonight, I am going to go work well not work on but like finish up and do some edits on my case brief for my gender in the law class i'm just briefing roe v wade it's a simple we got to pick any case we want as long as it had to do with like gender rights so obviously roe v wade is unpregnancy i don't know if i can say the a word on youtube but like unpregnancy women's rights and stuff like that so i chose to do my case brief on that particular case it's a really easy case to brief so i'm sure i'll do fine so I just need to go home and like look for typos, spell check, grammar, just little things like, you know, sometimes you just miss things and stuff like that. One thing I like to do, which is very time consuming, is I will actually have Microsoft Word read it all to me so that way I can catch little things. Because sometimes if you type something, you may miss something. That is it. So I'm just having brunch today and then going home to do that. I don't think I have anything else to do today, but my break was so short-lived it was so short but i was so glad to have monday off yesterday and basically i only have to go to school tomorrow and like i have one class on thursday i go to like the math center on thursdays too so i'll probably do that tomorrow's my cousin bria's birthday so i'm gonna have a new vlog it definitely will not be a whole week because i mean my vlog was already so long from the first day so this vlog will probably be if if it's not an hour it's be it'll be over an hour it's gonna be a long vlog i probably will not have vlogs that long plus those kind of vlogs are actually harder to upload they'll probably just be weekends and i do have some stuff coming up this weekend i've got a client i've got a party it's my cousin's birthday and this is her first birthday since um her accident my cousin was paralyzed from the waist down last year actually right after her birthday so this is her first birthday with her new you know with her injury and stuff like that so i just want to make sure it's like super special she's making us dress like very very fancy very elegant so i need to go find an outfit for that but nothing less than the best for her and, uh, and now this i would go off oh you have such a pretty anything else i can get for Yeah. 
this room is my vibe. That, the dark wood. I love that, it's so pretty. Do so you guys like my hair? That's what my hair looks like with my makeup done. Well, you guys, I just left brunch with my girls and it was so much fun. So I don't know if I said it before, but we went to this place. It's a restaurant and it's also like a furniture shop called RH Indianapolis. The vibes are just immaculate. Like, first of all, the service here, and I'm not speaking for every server, but the server we had today, she just, just told us um, that she was a school teacher. Is this the exit? I don't know. She just told us she was a school teacher and I could kind of tell her vibe was just so like warm and friendly. You guys know like teachers are typically like they're so sweet. They are so sweet. She was an excellent server. Everybody was like so polite, treated us so well. And then like the vibe in there, very soft and just classy and elegant. It was just really fun. So we did actually, we did enjoy our food. I got an RH Bellini. I didn't love it. It just tasted like there was like too much puree in it but my lobster roll was good and then we got these sweet potato fries and they had like rosemary aioli which was incredible like that sauce went so well with the sweet potato fries so i definitely recommend it it is like the food is a little bit on the pricier side like there are definitely items you can get for like under 20 bucks but like most of like the main dishes are going to be like over 20 bucks and then after you get done eating you can walk around and look at all this furniture and stuff like that and that's basically what we did it low-key made me just want to go home and like redecorate i love seeing like how people style their homes and put stuff together and all that but that was actually really fun it was just a nice way to celebrate fall break so the two girls i was with they do also go to my school so we were just all celebrating our fall break because we do all have class tomorrow so that was really exciting. I'm getting ready to go home. So you guys may see me then when I start to, you know, wipe off my makeup and edit my case brief and stuff like that. But after that, I'm probably going to wrap up. Well, I'm not probably. I'm definitely going to wrap up the vlog because it's already long enough. So I appreciate you guys if you made it all the way through to watch my vlog, my day in the life. I am so happy that I was able to kind of film some content and post something on my channel because it's been quite some time so much has changed but yeah it's been a really good fall break you guys like I literally I cannot complain I just feel very blessed I'm very happy right now things are just really like working out for me right now so I'm just at a really really good place and I'm just really thankful and I just have like such good people in my life and I feel like that really is helpful my the people that I surround myself with are truly like assets to me oh and also if anybody is wondering by the way like my jewelry and stuff these are like Bottega dupe earrings I actually have some actual Bottega teardrop earrings but they're gold and they look just like these but these are dupes these are not the real Bottega and then as far as my bracelet stack this is Tiffany & Co. This is an Anne Klein watch. I actually got it off Amazon because I love the color. And then this is a Chanel bracelet. Um, this is obviously my wedding ring. And then this is a Claudette ring my husband got for me from Ireland. So that's my jewelry today. And then fragrance of the day, I actually mixed the Lancome Edol with the YSL Black Opium Intense. Okay guys, so I am just now finishing my case brief. I have gone through everything and it's just nice and vague how a case brief should be. It's so funny because my major is law and liberal arts, so I do a lot of case briefing and stuff like that. And um, my minor is political science, and they could not be more opposite. Like, even though we discuss, like, a lot of politics and law and stuff like that, political science, my assignments in poli-sci are very, like, wordy, and law and liberal arts is very opposite. It is very get to the point. Um, very short, very concise, you know, like we don't need all the flowers and the extra stuff. So it is very, so writing like things for like poli sci, like an essay and stuff like that. Some of that stuff is like, I find it not tedious, but just kind of annoying because I feel like sometimes when you stretch things out to meet, meet like word requirements, it almost makes you sound a little bit dumber. Like, you know, like, cause you have to just be so extra with it. This is your friend. If you're going to pick a major where you're going to be doing a lot of case briefing and legal memos and stuff like that, 
or you're just interested in like paralegal work or going to law school, I suggest you know what this is and know how to use it. This is the blue book and you will find all of the rules for citing cases in here, um, cases for each state, cases for each court, because there are so many courts that I don't think people realize besides the Supreme Court, which is the Supreme Court, which is for the whole nation. But like each state has its own court. There are district courts, there are appellate courts, there are state supreme courts. So there's lots and lots of courts. So you do need to know how to cite them. That is it for this vlog. I'm wrapping up. Today is my last day of fall break and I was having so much fun. But I have class tomorrow. So let me lock in because I think I still have about like nine or ten more weeks left of school, which I cannot wait to be done. But thank you guys for sticking around this long. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel because it costs you nothing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.